to the lunch lounge today, and we have some special guests joining us uh, to celebrate Friday night at the barn. Zach Janikian. Dan Littleton and Rhett Miller. Is that Rhett Miller over? Woo! Howdy. Yes. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Really, yeah. really well, thanks. Uh, yes. Amy Helm has assembled quite the uh, the party mm. for tomorrow night's show. That's what she does. At, at the barn. Amy's good at that. Yep. She's so good at that, she's organizing that party right now and couldn't that's, be here with us. That's right. That's what I understand, right? Uh, so, Zach, you have a, you're have you going to play first. Yeah, I'm going to play first. first, Zach? Yes. Okay. Let's have Zach go first. All right. Must be in a good place now. Sun coming through a rainbow colored sky. It paints pretty pictures in my mind. Well, oh, what a good day to go fishing. And catch the sunset in the hills And dream of my yesterdays and tomorrows And I hope that you be with me still Presents Friday nights at the barn tomorrow night. Rhett Miller, Tim Erickson, uh, Dan Littleton, Connor Kennedy. It's it's an amazing list. Zach, you're going to be playing with Rich Pagano, I understand. Is, mm -hmm. that, is that how it's going to be? Um, there's I think there's a amazing. few sort of featured guests. Rhett being one of them, and mm -hmm. I'm doing a tune, and it's all just we're all kind of everybody's playing, playing with everybody. Yeah. yeah. So are you guys just? Uh, for the night, handsome strangers or official? I mean, you're striking in your own way. <laughs> Thank uh, you very much. We work really hard to, you know. <laughs> to be to strange. Show up like this. <laughs> well, the, the whole thing with the Friday night is, is actually, it's like, a, um, it was kind of conceived in the spirit of the rambles, but um, with less of a kind of emphasis on any, you know, the, the, the ramble band songs or just leave on songs or band songs. So the whole idea was more like to just kind of get people in the community together and have a full-on intergenerational musical, you know, mashup. And people can just, you know, play whatever they've, they're feeling. And we've had, you know, people from, you know, the, the Paul Green schools playing next to, you know, people like Zach, people like um, some of the people who have shown up or like Natalie Merchant has been there, Donald Fagan's been there. People just show up, and, and you know, in the spirit of the ramble, we don't uh, always divulge. So you just you kind of you kind of have to you kind of have to be there. Go on and, faith, and yeah. stuff happens. But I'm telling you, they've they've really been special nights for everybody involved. Every time out, we always look forward to doing it. And um, Amy's you know very busy and travels a lot. I, I don't know anything about that myself. You know, Amy's traveling schedule or anything like that. Actually. Um, because I play in her band. I just, he is a handsome I, stranger. I, I try well, not. I kind of look, look at her schedule for the next few days, and it's quite busy. It was, it's intense. So, it's, it's you know, cool. whenever we can get everybody together is what I'm, what I'm, uh, what I'm hinting at. You know, it's, it's a great thing. We, if we had our way, we'd do it a couple times a month. and Just, yeah. you know, because there's such a rich 
um, group of musicians in this area, and, and um, it's it's a it's a deep group of of players, and um, and it's really nice to kind of get everybody together and everybody just you know not too precious, not too much time to prepare, and a lot of really spontaneous. Uh, fantastic things happen, and and often they happen once, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, which is exactly what Levon wanted. That's yeah. it. That's exactly what he wanted. I gotta say, this is red over here. I gotta say, I went uh, to the barn for the first time yesterday, and mm. we did a rehearsal, and it was the first of all, the band is amazing, and the barn is so great. I I think I expected it to be more ramshackle, but it is really <laughs> nice. It's, it's a barn name. beautiful yeah. setup, and you thought and you'd see hay and bats up. Right there. <laughs> exactly, and for for me, it was. It was meaningful because I had begged my manager. We moved here 11 years ago, and I'd begged him for years to get me in because uh, at, at the time I was managed by Danny Goldberg, who was friends with Levon, and said, just come on, get me in on the rambles. Mm. And so finally I got booked on one, and it was supposed to happen the week after Levon passed. Oh. And so I never got to do a ramble. And um, and to go in there yesterday and to stand there with Amy and look at this barn and realize that I was going to get to be a part of it after all. And, you know, I've obviously looked up to Levon and... and it's just so cool to be right there in his spot and, and to be a part of it. So thanks yeah. for inviting me. Oh, yeah. Well, We're so great. glad you're, you're yeah. here. You, <laughs> you guys are in for a treat. Just, you know, come out. I know it's Woodstock. Everybody's sitting there by the wood-burning stove, you know, like... I don't think I'm going out today. Look, still snowing. <laughs> still <laughs> still frozen out there. Maybe I'll check the mail tomorrow. Rock it up, Ray. Ray come on rock out. It up a little bit. Okay, rock it up. Let's do it. Your eyes are the color of the earth that is seen from outer space. You got a gorgeous face, though it's a little odd. Tell me that you like the songs that tell the story of real love, the kind that's flawed. Let's drink whiskey and do it all night long. Oh, let's get drunk and get it on. Well, I'll take you to a cheap hotel out on the interstate. Well, you look so great and to me. This is the perfect place for a rendezvous. It's got a rotten view, but the ice is free. Let's drink whiskey and do it all night long. Oh, let's get drunk and get it on. I tell how it's gonna be back. Beneath the water tower, watch the meteor shower, heaven on display. Yeah, we got it right here, right now, lucky us. It's wondrous, what a perfect day. Drink champagne and make love. Oh, let's get drunk and get it on. Let's drink whiskey and do it all night long. Oh, let's get drunk and get it on. Let's get drunk and get it on. Stop 100.1. Brett Miller joining the show tomorrow night, Friday night at the barn with Amy Helm. And uh, we're going to take a little break. I want to coax you guys to do one more song. Yeah. All right. Dan, I want to ask you about playing the national anthem. All right. <laughs> Radio Woodstock 100.1.
Zach Janikian, Dan Littleton, Rhett Miller here in the studio, all playing tomorrow night. Amy Helm presents Friday Nights at the Barn at Levon Helm Studios. 8 o'clock show tonight, uh, tomorrow night. Bring a little something for the community snack table and uh, join in the festivities. Um, Dan, you had a chance, an opportunity to do the national anthem recently at a couple of uh, uh, one time at the Knicks game and one time at the Rangers game. No, just game. at the Rangers. Just uh, Rangers? I think we, you know, we might get to do it again one of these times, but but uh, we were on the ice playing and singing, yeah. The U.S. Yeah. national anthem and the Canadian. And the Canadian, yeah. Well, yeah. Tell, tell me what that was like for you. Um, it was a really singular experience. <laughs> like, I, you know, I, I was just trying to articulate it. You know, there's, a, there's like a, there's like a, a real, um, there's, you know, it's, it's like a national, you know, ritual that we do, right? And, and if you grow up in this country, it's like, you know, you, you know what happens, you know how it goes. And then, you know, a minute in, it lasts a minute, and then, then everybody's back to the, get, getting into the game and everything. Yeah. But um, it's totally exhilarating. Like, you know, really, really fun, really... Uh, terrifying? Terrifying. <laughs> right? <laughs> and for us, really counterintuitive, because um, they're not used to having bands play hmm. on the ice mm -hmm. at uh, Madison Square Garden. And, um, Did the echo so, mess you up? We got into it, but yeah, it messed us up. It's but you know, hard. we we just we had so much fun, you know. But it is really counterintuitive to be playing on the ice. Yeah. You know, when <laughs> it's, Are you it's, worried about falling down? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about everything. <laughs> I'm worried about twenty two thousand people mm -hmm. throwing things at right. you. you know, the but, only good thing I've done a bunch of national anthems too. The only good thing is that it's over right at the beginning and then you just coast the rest of the way. And right. you're like everybody walks by and goes, Dude, you killed it, way to go. People were so nice and uh it is you know, and it was really interesting because we did the Canadian national anthem too, and so you know, we did our a, a very kind of like, you know, kind of quiet. Amy sang it really beautiful, and, and we did this kind of you know finger picked version of it. It wasn't like so much a big you know. Oh Canada! Yeah, we didn't really do you know meat and potatoes national anthems. We kind of like you know built it slowly. And the national anthem, the U.S. one, did get kind of big, but uh, but you know we were looking, and they were kind of you know the team was like looking at us like. I think Amy might have a different take, but I thought they were into, you know, how we had taken the time to, you know, kind of come up with an arrangement for it that, yeah, that wasn't just um, I'm sure going it was through beautiful, the motions, man. you know, of it. That's great. Now, Rhett, you you've done it a lot at Lakers games, out in I've LA. done Lakers games, Dallas Stars games. There's a weird thing that happens at Dallas Stars because I'm from Dallas. Um, the word star appears in the national anthem twice, and both times when it appears, nobody sings along in the, the audience at all, but when that word appears, everybody screams, stars! <laughs> and if you're not aware that that's going to happen, it could totally mess you up. You but, think they're like, you take it personally. Oh, they're yeah, like, yeah. You're, that's, that's 40,000 people yelling at me. Yelling at me. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it, but it is terrifying. My favorite is uh, the Texas Rangers. I've sung it for them before. And um, they put the lyrics up on the Jumbotron, and that's such a great thing. Everybody should do that. It should be done at all. It's so, it's, Anywhere you're going to sing oh. the national anthem, it takes the pressure off. Nobody has yeah. to worry about it. Is somebody going to mess up? Or? Yeah. I, th I think I've retired from doing it, although I just got asked by the Mavericks to do it in Dallas this weekend, but I'm not going to. But I, th I think I might retire because it is so nerve-wracking. And if you can get tickets to the game for free without having to do that, yeah. let somebody <laughs> else do it. There's always somebody that was the American Idol appearance person or whatever. <laughs> do it. I wouldn't trust myself looking at the Jumbotron. I mean, maybe they were showing stuff, but I wasn't looking. I was just, I was just you know, zoned in. Hoping, hoping that... <laughs> that we all got there together, you know. Now, Amy's new record is uh, is done. It's all mixed. It's ready to go. It's it's actually, uh, the, the mixing is being finished right okay. now. Um, but we're hoping. Well, can June, you tell me about it? I can tell you that everybody's really excited about it in the band. And um, if you've uh, been hearing about this record for a long time, mm -hmm. it's it's really really gonna happen okay and, you know we're really excited about it it's it's done the songs are there you know there's like two more songs to to finish the mixing on and um and we're we're really close and finish line is you know right ahead so okay. we're, we're hoping to like have it get to everybody by june okay is the uh i think that's the uh, the plan that's the goal yeah that's but i'm really excited about it and you know i i, I think um 
Byron did a beautiful job steering this thing from for a while now. It's been it's been going, yeah. and, and you know, it's really a, a family tribe record, right. you know, from because it started when when Levon was still with us, and and uh, you know, it just kind of you know built around that kind of core of his kind of you know encouragement for the whole process mm -hmm. and support of it and, and involvement and then Amy and Byron just wrote beautiful songs and the whole thing is finally coming to fruition so I'm real excited about Good. it. Uh, you want to do a Neil Young song? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can try this. Mm. Cause when all the water's gone The feeling lingers on Oh, true love ain't too hard to see Don't cry, no tears around me I wonder who's with her tonight I wonder who's holding her time But there's nothing I can say To make him go away Oh, true love ain't too hard No tears around me. Nothing I can say to make him go away Oh, true love Ain't too hard to see So don't cry No tears around me Don't cry No tears around me <laughs> Radio Woodstock 100.1. Dan, Zach, Rhett, thank you guys very much. Pleasure to have you. Have a great time tomorrow night at Levon Helms. Thanks. Enjoy the barn. Thanks, right. guys. Thanks, you guys.